Most live videos can get boring really fast. You might have the best content for your live stream, webinar, or virtual training, but without proper engagement, your audience will move on to the next thing. The way you deliver your live videos can be the difference between keeping viewers engaged and having zero views. Here is how you can easily set up a multi-camera live stream to keep the broadcast interesting and dynamic. There are many ways to do this. In this video, we want to keep it simple and give you the easiest way to create multi-camera streaming setups. All I'm going to use is my built-in webcam, an external webcam, and also show you an option with mobile devices. The position of your cameras will depend on your live video content and style. You might need to show close-up shots of specific products. Perhaps you just want to have a second camera angle to keep things interesting and make your stream more professional. Maybe you want your second camera to help you establish a closer connection to the audience so it can even be mobile. Or you might just want to make things more fun with a blooper style second camera. Now to the actual step by step. Let's have a quick look here at my setup and then we'll go into many cam. So here we have a built-in camera and then here on the side we have my external webcam which is mounted on a ring light and I also have this iPhone or mobile holder which can be attached to a tripod. Quick note here, make sure you download the Manicam mobile app on your phone so that you can connect your device to your desktop. With my setup ready, I'm going to create my scenes or video presets on Manicam. The first preset will be my front camera, so I can simply right-click on this live window here and select my front camera. Then what we have here is one camera. Now we need a second camera. So I can just click on the next preset and then select the next camera. So here it's an HD Pro, I can select that one and it will add here. Now that it's added, I can just transition to it and I'll have this camera here. So I can just transition between them throughout my live stream or my live video conference or any other sort of live video that you're doing. And the idea here is you can transition while you're talking and you can keep looking ahead to create one sort of video or you can also transition and talk to the camera if you need to. And now I'm going to add another source which would be a mobile video source that can also help you bring more interest to your live video. I can just click on a third preset here and one of the options will be mobile device. I will select mobile device and it will bring up a few options. You will find your phone if they're both connected to the same Manicam account. And I can click connect and my phone pops up a notification which I can just click and I can allow. And we can see here that it connected. So I have my mobile here which I can turn and then it will flip. If it doesn't flip for you it's because your auto rotation is not, it's locked so it's not going to flip. But right now I'm going to flip the screen here because the idea would be to have it here. The idea is you can talk to your audience, you can take them places with you. So that creates an intimate live stream and not just one person talking to a camera. Here I can have even different kinds of setup if I want to showcase different things throughout my live stream, like this angle, for example, and many more. And on Manicam here, I could also create one preset with multiple angles. One layer, and here it would be one camera. And then here it could be the second camera that is on the side, or it could be the mobile camera, or you can even show devices. So the same principle we had before, now we have it here, and I can just use my second camera or my mobile device as a document camera. Whatever I do here on my iPad, it's gonna show right on my screen. That's it for this video. I hope you found it helpful. And if you did, please give us a like and drop a comment down below. Let us know what you'd like to see next. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell notification to get notified every time we upload brand new videos. I'll see you next time.